Yeah, this is the Mario 800 back once again. I just wanted to quickly show you. Um, my neighbor gave me a book today, and the hockey book called The Terrible History of Hockey, which came out in 1988. I wanted to quickly show you this. This is a nice hockey book. I know a lot of people probably stay serious, don't care for hockey too much, but I just thought I'd show you this anyway. I know a lot more people in Canada probably watch hockey, but this is a very, very nice book. He got this for Christmas one year from his late wife. His wife passed away quite a few years ago from cancer, and I'm really good friends with this guy. His name is Blaine. He's my neighbor, anyways. Um, he uh, gave me this book, the rhetorical history of hockey, and I really, 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 really appreciate getting this book from him. Look at that. Here's what the front looks like. And this came out in '88. There's what the back looks like. Look at that. There's Philly Esposito on the back. That looks like John Van Viesbroek. Um, Bob and Gordy from the All Star game. That looks probably about '58 All Star game. And then there you got um. Looks like uh, Frank Mahovlich up there for Toronto. On the top there. So they're very, very nice book. I'm just going to quickly show you a few pages on the inside that I wanted to show you this book. It starts way back in the, like, the early, early days of the of hockey. Not only the NHL, but of hockey, like the 1890s. I think it goes back. Let me just check here. See how far this really does go back. Let's see, where's chapter one in the beginning? Here's a good shot of Brady Prime. See the early this the early years part one, but it goes back like to the time of when hockey was covered in Nova Scotia. And it's got like um all kinds of good stuff. Holly Morales is in here. Shows the old goaltenders like when they used to wear the caps and no masks kind of thing. Like look at that right there. John Ross Roach played in Toronto, and then you got um I'll show you another good picture here. Um. Yeah, there's Johnny Ron Ross. There's Joe Moon who holds the record for seven goals in a game for the Quebec Bulldogs. 1919, he scored seven goals in a game. That record still stands to this day. And then, um, let me show you something else here. Where is it? You might have to find it. I'll quickly show you something. The pro years from 1920 to 1945. Rare Rollers, and he played with the New York Americans. There's the kid line for Toronto, Conacher, Primo, and Jackson. And then they got, let's see what else is in here. There's, there's Frank Brimson. I wanted to show you some of the earlier. There's Charlie Gardner. I wanted to show you some of the earlier. Larry Chabot, Alex Connor, George Hainsworth, who holds the record for the most uh, shutouts in a single season with 22. I don't think that record would be broken. I don't. 22 shutouts in the season. There's Tiny Thompson. Cecil was his real name, but his nickname was Tiny Thompson. And then it's got, um, I'll find it here. i got to figure out what page it's on. I'll find it here eventually. Probably past it. I know what's in here. I just got to find it. I wanted to show you something really in neat and cool. Um, Early years, oh shit, where they put I'm gonna have to look it up at the phone for the chapters. Okay, here it is, okay, there's, um, um, that's nothing you name the Vesna Trophy after, I gotta be careful, I don't want this book to get ripped. There's, uh, George's Vesna right there, and then here is NHL's first basketball, Clint Bennett, no, it's not Jacques Plant. I know a lot of people think it's Shock Plant, but it's not. It's actually Clint Bennett. It played with the uh, Ottawa Senators in the 1929-30 season. Got his nose broken in the game and had to wear the mask to protect his nose. In one game, he wore it to protect his nose because it was broken. So he is officially NHL's first mask man. But Jock Plant was the first to wear it on a regular basis when he introduced it in 19, November 1959. But there's what the first NHL mask man looked like. He wore it 29 years before Jock Plant did. So there he is right there, Clint Bennett. There was a very good girl tenure on top of that, too. I and mean, then it just goes into more like modern players, like Wayne Gretzky. Show you at the back here in this book. Peter Klima goes to Mario Lemieux, Pat LaFontaine, Doug Gilmore, Dale Howard, Chuck, Wayne Gretzky. Like, I remember this thing out of the newest, newest guys because it came out in the 80s. So uh, there's Dino Cicerelli. One of my favorites, Wendell Clark, because I'm near, I live near Toronto, so I'm always I'm a big, huge Toronto Maple Police fan. There's Wendell Clark. And this has got some really good players in it. Modern, it shows on the Oilers dynasty from the 80s. It's got the one on the Islanders when they won the four straight Stanley Cups in the early 80s. From 80 to 83. I mean, it's just a very, very good book. 
There's Dan Bouchard. I don't know if you can see that. There's Dan Bouchard when he played in the NFL. He was a good goaltender. So anyways, yeah, so I just wanted to quickly show you this book. It's a very, very nice book, and I'm glad to have it. And I'm glad my neighbor gave it to me. I really appreciate it. This is a very good book. So I just wanted to quickly show you that. And I'm going to have um, some more DVD updates coming up, too. I got some DVDs coming in the mail soon I'm going to show, so... I ordered a couple DVDs from CD Universe. I'll have an upcoming DVD update, so look forward to that. So I just wanted to quickly show you that book in this update, and I'm out.